uh, the what is it morning star 18th of morning star how long has it been since i first heard of heard the golders golder legend 80 years 100 i can think of nothing else now my goal is at hand after years of searching i finally traced the ivory claw to a collector in brazil his death was necessary but i have it at last i have it the ivory claw probably as, as a key to some ruins Three days of non-stop riding, I reached Anvil ahead of my pursuers and took passage on the Ice Runner bound for solitude once more. The other passengers are becoming suspicious. Returning from dinner, I caught one brute rooting around in my quarters. He almost found the claw. Had the captain not in intervened, I would have flayed him alive. Hmm. I hoped to spend the voyage sequestered in my room, reviewing my notes and preparing spells, but I need to deflect some attention from myself. I'll have to mingle, pretend to be just another pretty, a petty mage, for now. The brute claims to be an adventurer off to seek his fortune in the ruins of Skyrim with his companions. Perhaps I can turn this to my advantage, use them as a fo as fodder for the traps and draugr within the tombs. I can see the greed in his eyes. Yes, that's work. Three weeks to solitude, the captain says. If I have to suffer these fools longer than that, I'll swim. <laughs> With the brute and his companions in tow, I led our band across the marsh to Folgonthur, where we made camp for the night. Little has changed since my first expedition ten years ago, but this time I have the claw, and I will have the amulet. Amulet, eh? I spent all night preparing a synopsis of my notes in case some fragment of the tale or piece of ancient lore may be needed to bypass the wards within the tomb. Then I cast all my books and scrolls into the fire and reduced my life's work to ashes. At long last, today is the day of reckoning. If I cannot have the amulet, no one will.